What's up, fellow YouTubers? We're back at it with another video. So, Lee and Michelle, or Lee and Mitchell, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, she made a um, video response to one of my uh, dating advice videos. Uh, she posted something on Reddit, a screenshot from said video, and it got over like 55,000 likes on reddit so there you go i appreciate that um leanne thanks for the uh support mountain dew throwback real sugar real good leanne made a video called i found the best dating advice ever slash king cobra jfs do it up <laughs> get it do it up oh okay one bad pop joke later I hate when my trolls try to screw up my marriage. Be sure to check out Leanne Michelle. I gave the video a like. It's in the uh, likes. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do something just a little different. It is going to be a reaction video, but not a nursing reaction video. Have you ever just fell down a rabbit hole, didn't know how you got there, and then once you got there, you couldn't get out? Well, that's this video today. Well, a rabbit hole, you say. I tell you what, I think we've all been there, done that, birthed a t-shirt, and got over it. We've all fallen into rabbit holes. But just because you fall into a rabbit hole doesn't mean you can't get out of it. Sometimes you can. The video I am going to be reacting to is called Dating Advice. The King Cobra JFS. The one and the only baby. He has 16,000 subscribers. I have not watched this video yet, but I have watched a couple of his others. So I wanted to do a reaction for this one. You too, it's your sexy dog, bad boy, King Cobra JFS, back at you with another video. Okay, so, King Cobra JFS, um, I don't, what's around his neck? Okay, she's laughing, like, oh, he called himself sexy, like, huh, like, huh. That's what's around my neck. We have a, um, a bandana and a dog collar. Just so you're aware, because, you know, I am goth, but... Uh, a lot of my fans sent me some new cologne to go with my pheromone soap. It's... Ah. Pheromone soap? A pheromone soap? <laughs> oh, honey, you don't even know. You don't even know. Now, this soap is designed to have you smelling irresistible for the ladies. They have a bunch of amazing scents to choose from. Just right off the bat, I'm not going to be mean to her. We'll give the video a chance. Sometimes when I get these video responses, sometimes people are mean, sometimes they're nice, and sometimes they're neutral. So, a, re a reaction video of someone reacting to me. This, um, this is what YouTube's come to anymore. <laughs> eyeliner? I mean, I guess... Um, yes, it is called eyeliner. He does if he's goth. He does if he's goth, yeah, you guessed that right. But what's that red... Okay, that red mark is from my hat. Like, this is a brand new hat, and I'm trying to break it in. And right now, my hat is pretty well broke. Oh, pretty well broken in. What's that red band around his forehead? That's from the hat breaking in. The hat was pretty tight on my forehead. I got a big ass head, so trying to find cowboy hats that fit are, uh, yeah. Interesting. Alpha male pheromone cologne, and it smells good. <laughs> She's laughing. What? What's so funny? Do you realize that women don't need pheromones to attract men? No offense to uh, this chick doing the video response, but it's the truth. Women don't need pheromone products to attract men. All they gotta do is show up. And this chick's just like, oh my god, you know. Then again, to be fair, she probably hasn't watched a whole ton of my videos. There's a lot of videos that, that I've made, so I probably, you know. Yeah. Nicely with the bar, so. She is just <laughs> laughing her ass off right now, like, <laughs> stop. Oh my god, who is this guy? <laughs> I tell you what, YouTube. Now, I've heard several people around me say, 
Josh, you need to get laid. Josh, you need to be dead. Why does he look so angry? Why, why do I look so angry? Well, I'll tell you why I'm angry. Because of the way society conditions men and women when it comes to dating and sex. Okay, I'm not angry at the fact that I haven't been laid in three years, practically almost. I'm angry at the fact that society treats women and men like crap when it comes to the dating scene. There's all this pressure to go out there to get laid. Sex is not a need, it's a want. If you can't be happy without sex and without money, you're never going to be happy with it. I mean, that's a good point. Uh, you know, this is like a lot of people who discover me on YouTube. They're like, who is this guy? I don't know what to think of him. He's just weird. He's just he's just Josh. Like, what what, what is this? Like, this chick is just like, uh, that, that, that is a fair point. I mean, kind of tough to argue with that. And that's just it, YouTube. Because I've been single for almost three years, while I'm cultivating myself to make a, a better version of myself, I'm also working to change gender relations. Like, instead of just focusing on me personally getting a girlfriend, why not make it easier for everyone else to find someone? And I can do that by examining gender relations. I bet you, I bet, I bet you this, I bet a lot of people on my YouTube are like, oh God, another gender relations video? Jeez, Cobra. You're like a broken record at this point. I guess. I don't know why she's laughing. I guess to some people I come off as extreme or to to the point or I don't know. No, not do real sugar, real good. Went to the uh, grocery store with my dad earlier. He bought me some groceries. Your dad bought you groceries? Yeah, I got parents who love me. What uh, what's wrong with that? You know, oh. shit. If I'm out of money, I don't ask very often to do that kind of thing. That's a once in a lifetime kind of, you know, very, very rarely, very rarely do I ask my parents to get me groceries. You know, there's been times I've been damn near out of food for almost two weeks and then I get my YouTube money, but I'm not complaining. I'm, you know, I'm making the best of it over here. And like, you know, who cares if my parents help me out with groceries from time to time? You know, I would do the same for my kids, honestly, knock on wood. Of course, I'm not worried about having kids until I build my dream house. You soon have to get me through until I get my wand bash done. Your what? And some uh, wand making supplies. Wand making supplies? Um, did my autism stutter, sweetheart? Yes, I said wand making supplies. As in, yeah. Like, this is the wand I made for myself. I have several wands that I personally own in my collection that I've made. Did he say wands? Abracadabra, yes I did. I sell magic wands on Etsy. Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. I'm currently working on another batch right now. Did you say wand? Did I say wands? Yes, I did. Wand making supplies. This right here is my female fans from my YouTube have been wanting me to make more effeminate colored wands. Oop. And I drop it like a schmuck. We're good though, we are golden. Did he say wands? Did he say wands? You're an autistic, Harry. Ah, I'm a what? An autistic. And a, and a spurg at that. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding, but seriously. YouTube money hasn't come in yet, so I appreciate that. What if I want something else? Why is it YouTube? Like, she's trying not hard not to laugh at me, like. That hat is everything. <laughs> That hat is everything. Dude, this hat kicks ass. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Ah. Uh. It's kind of adorable when you get someone who's only got like 4,000 subscribers doing a video response to someone who's got 16,000 subscribers. But you know what? It's not about who has more subscribers. We're just here to do, we're just here to do a friendly, 
adult video response. We're gonna act like mature adults, we're not gonna call names, you know. Yeah. This chick is laughing her ass off, dude. Like, <laughs> it's funny, dude. I'm like, she doesn't know what to make of a sexy goth cowboy like me. I tell you what, she ain't. She doesn't, she doesn't know what the fuck to make of it. This cowboy from hell look, you know? Oh, we. Oh my god, that face. No. That face, no! What's wrong with the way I look? You know, I'm not gonna sit here on camera and, and trash the way you look. So I, I kind of felt like that was unnecessary. But... ...are treated differently when it comes to dry spells on the romantic side of things, huh? This chick is trying so hard not to laugh. She looks really uncomfortable, like, huh, why am I... Why am I stuck watching this autistic loser's videos? Oh my god. Why? I, I can't wait to see where this is gonna go. Yeah, I bet you can't wait. Uh, you'll see. When men, have, when men haven't had a girlfriend in like three to four years, they get told, you need to get laid now. But when, when a girl hasn't had a boyfriend in three to four years, it's different. They don't fucking shove it in her face. They're just like, Mm, yeah, sometimes they do. Uh, no, they don't. No, no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They're, they're more sympathetic with the females on that. Like, oh, don't worry, honey. You'll find Prince Charming someday. What is that face? What is that face? <laughs> what is that face? Again, what's wrong with my face? You're sitting there making fun of the way I look. That's what it seems like. I don't know what you're trying to do with this here video. You know what? I, I could make fun of the way this chick looks, but I'm a mature adult, so I'm going to ignore it. But at the same time, it's like, oh, what's it with this face? What's it with this face? Honey, I'm autistic. What's your deal? Like, <laughs> I have Asperger's. Yeah, I get to have the autism with the funny sounding name because life is funny like that. We're gonna take a disorder that makes you super awkward around humans and give it a funny sounding name. As if people weren't dicks to each other enough as it is, right? You're gonna, you're gonna, go, you're gonna go to Burger King and get some Asperger's? <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're hilarious. And that's just it. I don't care. I make fun of my Asperger's all the fucking time. I do. I think it's funnier than shit. Every time I rip ass, pfft, I'm like, whoa, it smells like Asperger's in here. Hear that Asperger's talking shit behind me? And then when my trolls see me making fun of my own disorder, they're like, hey, you know what? What we're doing is not working. He rips on himself harder than we do. Fuck, man. Oh, but now we can't. Rocking that Dr. King Cobra t Oh, if you can't, if you can't, then why are you watching the video? That's, that's the bigger question. Like... <laughs> You want to get yourself one of the sick cobra shirts? The link will be in the description box below. I, I'm going to check that out, I think. Well, you know what? I appreciate you checking out the merchandise. I really do. <laughs> you need me a King Cobra shirt. I wear it a lot, so that's why I got the hole in it. Hey, matches the hat. Now, here's the thing of it. Before you bitch about that double standard, you two, you have to think. Women go through so much crap just because their body gives birth to children. That's extreme, but I can't find a lie in that. that women have to go through. Oh, it's extreme, is it? Hey, well, sometimes you gotta go. Sometimes you have to go to that extreme to prove a point, because you try being nice and watered down. You try being nice, polite, and watered down with your responses, and people don't listen. But we'll see how uh, we'll see how this plays out. Because they give birth to children. For that, I am sympathetic towards the female sex. I mean, thank you. I did birth four babies. You're welcome. You're quite welcome. Thank you for making this video response. Four kids, man. Ooh, I feel sorry for you. Four kids. Ooh, we. Damn, dude. Could you imagine? No, we. 
I mean, if I found an of-age girlfriend of my own and I built my dream house, one or two would be enough. But like four? Holy shit. If I found my gothic soulmates, I would marry the fuck out of my gothic soulmate. Believe that. If I found my of-age goth girlfriend that was just perfect for me, I would marry her. And I would host the most baddest goth wedding ever. If I had the money, I would hire my bride-to-be's favorite metal band to play the wedding. Hey Josh, how you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing good, man. Thank you for asking. I made a uh, deep-fried quesadilla earlier, and I'm feeling pretty good off of that, man. Freaking made a cooking video for it. Oh, that sounds good. Hell yeah, and it turned out way sick, too. Hell yeah. Now here's the thing, fellas. You have no idea. We're, we're never going to know, know what it's like to have a period. The look on her face, they're like, oh boy, where is this going to go? Where is he going with this? <laughs> where is he going with this? Where is he going with this? Where is he going? <laughs> oh my god, her reaction is going to be priceless. He looks mad. No, I'm not really mad. I just have a serious face. I'm one of those people that just, that just has a serious face. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the way my jawline cuts with my chin, you know? Like, seriously, when I, when I try to smile, watch this. It's creepy as shit. Like, Jack Nicholson, Heath Ledger, freaking Joker smile. Like, goddamn. Why so serious? Let's see a smile on that face. Like, that's just it. When you have a serious face, like I do, that just looks like it's always pissed off or sad about something, people look at you like, People think I'm insane because I am frowning all the time. All day long I think of things, but nothing seems to satisfy. You know, just once every... Four weeks, okay. whether you want it or not. True. It just happens. Just, just happens. Could you imagine, fellas? You're bleeding out your asshole, so you have to wear pads to absorb the blood. Fellas, you're sitting on the couch. Your balls hurt. Huh? You're horny as shit, but you can't get your dick off. Oh no! This poor chick. She's laughing her ass off at this shit. She's laughing her ass off at this shit. I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to help men understand what it's like for women to deal with their issues so they can be a bit more sympathetic towards the fair sex. But to be truthful, why are women called the fairer sex when the crap that women have to go through is extremely unfair? That's what I don't get. But this chick is just like, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but I know I'm not sitting on the couch on my period complaining because I'm horny and I can't. I'm sorry, it was a rough under. Okay, you know what? That was. I did. That was a loose representation, obviously. I, you know. I mean. <laughs> Oh shit. This is gonna be demonetized so fast. Arm, you're bleeding out your asshole, so you wear a pad. All you wanna do is sit on the couch and drink beer and watch home improvement. No, oh, not home improvement. Oh, I haven't seen that in years. That's I mean that's what my husband likes to do on his Friday night. And you bitch about every other guy you fucking hate. That would be the uh, male form of that, I guess, right? Sure. Well, I'm glad that you find this amusing. I'm trying to help men sympathize with women and improve the dating scene so that dating is not only easier for me, but it's easier for everyone else. And you're like, sure, yeah, let's just go with that. <laughs> you know how many fucking times I've heard both men and women complain about the dating scene and the crappy partners they've had? And I'm over here like, oh, I guess being single's not so bad after all. You said a bitch about that guy you work with just because <laughs> oh, no. he found himself a hot younger wife and he's got a new car and you're jealous of him, so you're like, oh, fuck him, thinks he's all that, you know. Yeah, buddy, 
Yeah, yeah we're gonna get started today on the show. Uh oh, oh, look out, Mr. Marshall Peterson! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hi, Marshall. Whoever you are. Okay, my buddy Marshall Peterson. Um, I went to high school with him in Valley City, North Dakota. He, one of my old high school friends. You know, I talk with him on the phone. Um, I recently got a hold of his mom on social media and she gave me his number and yeah. Marshall's doing pretty good for himself considering the uh, the circumstances, you know. He's got three jobs and four roommates. He's doing good, you know. Got his own place and everything. Oh no. My next piece of advice to you two, try to be her friend before you try to be her girlfriend. Um, not necessarily. Not necessarily? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fu- Wow. <laughs> okay, how is it not necessarily? Because you know what the biggest complaint I've heard from women? How they're sick and tired of guys trying to get down their pants. Um, not necessarily. <laughs> Are you kidding me, lady? Do you know how many times I've heard women say, well, it'd be nice if they could just find a guy to hang out with who didn't care about sex or getting laid. You know how many times I've heard women say that crap? Maybe not from you specifically. Not necessarily. What do you mean not necessarily? Okay? If you rush into a relationship without taking the time to get to know her, guess what's going to happen? Half the time it's going to fail because you didn't take the time to just ease into it. Ridiculous YouTube. Tell you what. No, tell us, tell us, lady. Why why you said not necessarily? You'll get a lot more respect on the dating scene. I mean you'll get a lot more respect, but I don't know about on the dating scene. Okay, so I don't know how old this woman is. I really don't know. I don't care what her age is. She's probably from a different generation. So her generation did dating differently. This is my generation, right here, right now. And getting respect from women on the dating scene is a lot more important than getting laid. I'm not gonna argue with that point. Oh wow, okay, so she's quick to laugh at my face and sitting there saying, well, I'm not gonna argue with that point. Yeah, how can you argue with that? Like, dude, come on. And furthermore, guys, would it kill you to quit using women for sex? Again, he's got a point. Yeah. She, she, you see right there? Right? This is kind of funny because she starts off the video like, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Who is this weirdo? And then, oh, okay, you know what? He makes a couple of fair points. Okay. I mean, look at him. I mean, look at him. <laughs> I get laughed at for having the confidence to be my goth heterosexual self. It triggers people. They're like, oh, a straight male wearing female makeup? What world is this? <laughs> and she's sitting there like trying, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm not going to, you know what? I, I, that's just it. I'm not going to sit here and criticize her for the way she looks. No, I wouldn't. No. Yeah, it's quite frankly, I'm sitting here hearing about it. Don't go to this man and tell him your problems. Don't not get laid for three or four years and then come complaining to him because he doesn't want to hear it. For a lot of decent guys like myself out there, you know, but girls don't usually give me a chance because they've been fucked over too many times. Um, I'm not real sure that's the reason why they're not giving you a chance. Um, okay, lady, you don't know the dating scene. You don't know what I know. You have not had my experiences. And you're sitting there with this face, this look on your face, at 8 minutes and 54 seconds like, Oh, I'm not sure that's why they're giving you a chance or not. <sighs> I mean, this is like Crocodile Dundee met Marilyn Manson look going on. I think that has a certain appeal. Um, not mine, but a certain appeal. <laughs> I just, I love him. Oh my god. Aww. Aww. 
So you, you, you give me some mixed messages here. She's like, oh, I love him. Oh, my God. I mean, he's got this Crocodile Dundee meets Marilyn Manson look. Like, maybe that appeals to someone, but not necessarily to her. Well, that, and that's why, you know, I'm not here to insult you or, you know, make fun of you or nothing. Because I'm like, let's, you know, let's, let's hear what she has to say before we make any sort of harsh, you know... Part of being bullied my entire life is I'm quick to respond to bullies who harass me. And sometimes I gotta learn to just like back off and, you know, hear what they have to say first. And guys are no different on that aspect. Sitting here during the Mountain Dew throwback with real sugar. Real no, sugar. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, this is my last pigeon video that I uploaded. Wait, what? A pigeon? A pigeon video? He's got pigeon videos? Whew. I took a video I'll be filming for YouTube later. And a cooking video. I'm definitely going to be watching that. Uh, what is on his arm? I'm going to zoom it in. What is that forearm tattoo? If you guys have any idea, let me know. Um... Oh, this, this is my, um, Celtic Cobra Gram. Okay, it's a Cobra Gram, basically. You got the back of the hood right here at the top, and then the tail of the Cobra right here. The circles represent the five elements, earth, wind, fire, water, air. And this universal S represents spirit. It's part of my, uh, my religion. I practice a combination of demon magic and black magic. Yeah, but I'm not going to go into that. Oh, he looks as uncomfortable as I do. <laughs> and patience is a virtue, dude. I, I don't know, you know, the new alpha male cologne that one of my YouTube fans sent me, I put it on after taking a shower with my tactical soap. Tactical soap? Your alpha male pheromone cologne. And Tactical soap. Grondike Soap Company. The link for my affiliate will be in the description box below. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> 20 minutes later. Oh, she pulled a SpongeBob reference 20 minutes later. There it is, guys. I know there's a lot of guys that watch my channel. Um, tactical soap, alpha male pheromone cologne. Go strolling through Walmart with your dad. Be in the gothic cowboy. You have all the women. Don't say you don't learn anything coming over here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I actually have to order some more tactical soap, believe it or not, because I'm about out. Oh no. Then how are you gonna get the women? I ordered four bars, two bars of my bond, two bars of bond lust, and some pheromone beard oil. Pheromone beard oil. Some God of War beard oil, yeah. Because I can I can see that you need that. Yep, and when I get my um pheromone beard oil and my products when I, when I get the four things that I ordered from Tactical Soap, um I'll do an unboxing. How many times have you heard women say this? Men stink. Oh my god, I smell bad. <laughs> okay, so who wants to stop? I mean, yeah, they're out working, doing stuff. Body odor, it happens. I mean, women have it too, but... Buying from my affiliate link helps me make a little bit of money. And it helps going towards his wine making fund until the YouTube check comes in. So please help him out. Please, seriously. Don't send him any hate. Go help him out. The man, he's out here grinding away. He's hustling. We don't want Dad to have to come to Walmart and buy his groceries anymore. You know, I am trying to hustle. And like I said earlier, I don't ask my parents for help with groceries if I can help it. Like, I hate, I appreciate that my parents can do that for me when they can, but I hate asking them, you know? It makes me feel like, oh, hey, you know, you, you, you call yourself an adult, but, <laughs> you know, I got a family that loves and cares about me. You know, some of these people that talk shit really don't, so that's why they talk shit. So, 
And if you use coupon code King Cobra, you'll get 10% off your order. 10%? Code King Cobra. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> How much money would you pay to smell irresistible to the ladies? Oh man, she's laughing, but it's like I she's laughing, but it's like in a good way, I guess. Like, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, buddy. A bar of tactical soap is like eleven dollars and five cents. Eleven dollars and five cents. A bar. For a bar of soap. Worth every penny, honey. Trust and believe that. Which is pretty pricey, but trust me, it's worth every freaking penny. Hey, look at him. He's living the dreams. Women at Walmart. Turned on every aisle he walks down. I mean, look at him. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, I love him. Oh, my God. All right, I'll tell you what. Any girl, any girl out there would be lucky to have me as a boyfriend. Amen. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to break the news to Chris when he gets home. She's beautiful. Sorry, friend. Queen of my empire. And what an empire it looks like it is. Video link in the description below. Go on over. My fangirls would worship the ground she walks on. Uh, oh, he has fangirls too. All right. Oh my God, she's so lucky. She gets to date Dr. King Cobra. D Doctor. King Cobra? No? No, I said Gothic King Cobra, not Doctor. Is it Doctor? <laughs> Alright. No, I said Gothic, not Doctor. I said Gothic. No, honey, I didn't say Doctor. I said King Cobra, as in Gothic King Cobra. Okay, I don't know, maybe she's got some uh, earwax in her ears and she needs to, like, clean them out. Uh, maybe I don't pronounce my words correctly. I have a hard time with speech. Whatever the case may be, I said Gothic King Cobra, not Doctor. What's he doing? <laughs> now, if you yourself are severely ADHD, then you hook up with the chick who also has ADHD, and it just works, you know? Hey, <laughs> hey. Do opposites attract? Yes and no. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Well, you didn't even give me a chance to answer. I mean. Ooh, them shorts. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you know what? When people tell you you need to get laid, all you can do is ignore them. Right. Yes. That's not the most important thing. Don't let people tell you when you need to get laid. You need to think for yourself. <laughs> well, at least she's kind of agreeing with me. I mean... Despite laughing her ass off, I'm, I'm glad this is entertaining for you. I'm sure this is entertaining for my fans, too, but, uh... Go ooh -wee. He's so serious. He's so serious. I am serious. I mean, he's not lying. just takes the dating scene, which could be natural on YouTube, and makes it way too forced. I mean, it's only forced if you let yourself be forced. I mean, it's only forced if you let yourself be forced. Listen here, lady. I appreciate the video responses, but you can't let yourself be forced, okay? Being forced is something that you can't control whether it happens or not. Either, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Every time I say, yeah, buddy, she just cracks up laughing. <laughs> oh, the pipe. Oh, the Oh, the pipe, oh no. Yeah, I smoke a tobacco pipe, so what of it? Now, even though my troll is trying to scare off girls. Oh, oh, oh. Troll, um, like, online trolls or like? Yeah, online trolls. <laughs> I still talk to the ladies. I mean, don't let them get you down. I just don't bring up on YouTube anymore. Good idea. We don't, we don't need to bring our personal lives on YouTube. Never a good idea, because you don't want your trolls. I mean, come on. Now, personally speaking, I think it's pretty sad that my trolls try so hard to fuck up my female friendships because they're jealous. Mmm, yeah. I mean, I I hate when my trolls try to screw up my marriage. But uh, you know what? Despite having Asperger's and bipolar depression, ADHD. That makes sense. I still love them, but it makes sense now. It makes sense now. Yeah, she finally figured it out. Cobra still talks to chicks and they dig him. Why? You know why women think I'm sexy? Because I'm not afraid to be myself. And I was... Mmm. 
mean, I think that's a reach. Oh, you think that's a reach? You think that's a reach? Okay. Okay, how is it a reach? Hmm? Because another complaint I've heard women talk about is, why can't guys just be honest with them? And you know what? Yeah, you know what? I do talk to chicks about my wand making. I'm, a, I'm like one of the biggest Harry Potter fans there is. And some chicks are going to be turned off by it like, oh my god, you're such a nerd. You make your own wands. <laughs> but the majority of chicks I talk to actually think it's pretty cool. If my souls were more better with the ladies than I was, I wouldn't care. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> How do I know? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I was just making a point that said if even if my trolls were better with the ladies than I am, I wouldn't stoop to their level to try to fuck that up because that would just make me look jealous as shit. You know? Obviously, obviously, the majority of my trolls suck with female interaction. And they see someone who has Asperger's who's better at it than they are, and instead of being like, hey, you know what? This dude's got autism and he's pretty good with the ladies despite his circumstances. That kind of gives me hope. Instead of being like that, they're like, oh, well, fuck Cobra, that piece of shit. Who does he think he is? Because to me, if I fuck with someone because they're getting more than I am, that just makes me look jealous. Um, just makes you look like a douchebag, but thanks for really getting my video demonetized. Appreciate that. Um, maybe you should... You know, maybe you shouldn't watch the video then. Like, if you don't... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you chose. You watched my videos in your private time, and you decided to, um... You decided to watch my video and do a response to it. So blaming me for saying the words that I said, that's on you. Okay, I choose my speech because I'm not afraid to be blunt and real with it. <laughs> Jesus, you two, get it together. Think about it. If you're friends with a girl, if you're friends with a girl, and every guy she knows is trying to f her, you're the one that is there to hang out listen to her bitch. Uh, uh, and who cares if you're not getting laid? Because quite honestly, you two, you're giving her something that those other guys are never going to give her. Oh, they're not? What? Please tell me, what are they going to Think about like this, YouTube. I'm thinking. I'm ready. I'm perspective for you. We'll wrap this year video up. Okay. I got money. <laughs> You're laughing. You're laughing again. Oh, he. Oh, she's laughing again. And what's wrong with that? You get some YouTube money, you're just like, hey, what's up? Even if you're not a professional YouTuber, or a famous YouTuber at that, like whatever job you have, like it's Friday, it's the day off. You got your, it's Friday, it's the day off for you. You just got your paycheck, you know. And what's wrong with texting your girlfriend, texting your girlfriend, hey babe, when you get off work, do you want to meet me at the bar, or I could pick you up, you could pick me up, whatever. You know what's wrong with that? <laughs> That'll do it. Hey, babe. I'm gonna go out for a beer. I got money. <laughs> Wanna hang out for some video games? No. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. That's why it's not working out. You can't say, hey, babe, let's go to get a beer. I got money. Or you want to play some video games? I'm pretty sure. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. I kind of feel sorry for you, lady. You got four kids. That's got to suck. You and your husband want to have sex or, you know, go out and have a nice dinner date. You don't get that. You, your schedule runs around your kids. That's got to suck. I don't feel sorry for you because you chose to make that, honestly. You chose to make that your life. And you know what? Good for you. Right? Good for you. But don't feel sorry for me because it's not working out, you know? There's someone out there who has it a lot worse. The problem is women and men don't trust each other anymore. You have a combination of women using men for dick and money, and men using women for pussy and money. This is my new favorite person. I mean, he's got a point. Aw, this is my new favorite person. He, he does have a point. 
Aww. Well, thank you for saying that. I mean, like, like I said, this isn't, you know, a, con a constructive criticism of anything. It's just me responding to a video. That. And like you still, you know what I'm saying? If she's saying that you still keep, you know what I'm saying? You still keep, uh, I don't know. My word. Oh my goodness, he's too much. <laughs> okay, I got tongue tied. It happens to the best of us. You're sitting there like, no, because you said you, that I'm like one of your favorite people now and such, you know, I, I'm not going to judge you too harshly for laughing at me. I mean, I'm a lot to take in for some people, but. I can't. Oh my God, this whole video has just gone to hell. You still keep her interested after all these years. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it. And if you want to increase your chances of getting a girlfriend, pick up some tabs of soap from the Rondack Soap Company. Link is in the description box below. She's laughing again. Like, she obviously doesn't know, dude. She don't know. I have a feeling this whole thing is an ad for this tactical soap. I'm going to have to go see what it is. I. It's not an ad for tactical soap necessarily. What it is, is I'm an affiliate. I'm a salesman for tactical soap. <laughs> oh my god, he's my new favorite person. Aww. I can watch him all day. Aww. That just makes me feel all warm and gushy inside. Aww. She's like, he's my new favorite person. I could just watch him all day. Aww. Well, thank you for your support. I appreciate that. We might have had some disagreements up to this point, but I think the biggest reason why we see disagreements is because women and men are raised differently. Yep. I'll tell you what, if I was lucky enough to be a dog girlfriend of my own, I would just... I mean, every man's dream. He just wants a goth girlfriend of his own. Okay, that's not every man's dream. I feel like that's a stereotype, you know? Oh, come on. Somebody's got to know somebody. Can we help him out? I mean, we... Oh, can we, can, can we help him out? <laughs> can we, can we help him out? Oh, yeah, I get that. That's the whole pity sex mentality, like... Oh, come on, the, the guy's autistic. He hasn't had a girlfriend in three to four years. We gotta know somebody. Can we help this poor guy out? <laughs> like, I appreciate the gesture, but... You know? You can't rush this kind of thing. Oh, he is like the Joe Exotic of the goth cowboy world, and I'm so happy I found him, and I just had to share him. You all may think I'm crazy, Stay safe, wash your hands, and I will see you next time. Uh, yeah, um, the video is on a, uh, YouTuber, f a female YouTuber by the name of Leanne M Michael, Michelle. But anyways, YouTube, thanks for watching my video response. Um, subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll catch you cool cobras later.